In March 2015, Indiana Governor Mike Pence signed the Indiana Religious Freedom Restoration Act into law. Due to public criticism that the law could be used to discriminate against the LGBT community in the state, the governor signed an amendment in April stating that the law can't be used in this way. However, the new law did have at least one unintended consequence, the creation of the First Church of Cannabis, which was approved by Indiana's Secretary of State shortly after the act was signed. The church's founder, Bill Levin, said his intent was to start a church based on love and understanding with compassion for all. He calls cannabis the church's sacrament and says they will grow the plant and people will be able to use it on site. Levin plans to build the new church out of hempcrete, a hemp-based concrete. Also, alcohol will be prohibited at the new church and Levin plans to have opiate and alcohol addiction counseling made available. Only Levin knows for sure if the church is intended as a genuine new religion or he simply found a creative way around Indiana's cannabis laws. Regardless, the state's new religious freedom law protects this new religion and allows for Levin and his followers to use cannabis in a state where it's illegal for recreational and medical use. According to Levin, the Bibles of other religions are yesteryear about the drinking out of goat skins. That doesn't relate to people with GPS in their hand and 7,000 tunes in that same hand. The church is very simple. The first good book we're going to ask prisoners to read and understand is The Emperor Wears No Clothes. And maybe Levin's on to something. A lot of people seem to require some form of religion, which even as an atheist I can acknowledge. A religion without contradictory scriptures and supernatural powers that only promotes love and cannabis doesn't sound that bad.